Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video we will be talking about the Xam Tantrum cards. So as you know you can, so I myself have four of these Tantrum cards, so I bought them. And you can, these are basically hard wallets. So they encapsulate themselves, they're family seed. And when you hold them onto your phone you can basically sign transactions using the Xam app. Uh, the only problem with these some tantrum cards is if you lose your card or if you destroy the card then you will never be able to access your funds again and that is a problem obviously so you can create a backup card using the Xam app so then you ha but then you would need two and that's also a problem but it's also possible if you just have one Xam tantrum card to uh, set it up that way that you're still able to recover your funds in case you might lose or destroy your Xam tantrum card so quickly to the setup, so we've got here our Xam Tantrum card and let's uh, and also Xam Tantrum card is basically its own, uh, has its own XOP address uh, well let's say, uh, let's call it our card, blah blah and some d stuff there and for example it has 1000 XOP on it and the problem like I said is again that if you uh, if you lose the card you will never be able to access these funds again but what you can do is if you for example have another hardware wallet for example Ledger Nano S uh, then you can basically set a regular key on the uh, for the Xam Tantrum card to allow um, your Ledger Nano to sign transactions also for this XAM card in case you might again lose it. So obviously you should only uh, set your regular key to something that is safer or just as safe and this is only Ledger Nano for example, so a hardware wallet. So if you have a hardware wallet but you basically link it to a software wallet then then you might think like that it's not that reasonable I guess. So it would be better if you link your exam tantrum card to, to set your regular key to also not a hard wallet you keep safe and store safely all right so now that's basically our setup we want here like i said uh because in in case you might lose your uh, all the signing credentials then you're still able like i said to sign transactions from a legend s nano s for exam tantrum card all right for that purpose to show that off basically I created two test accounts here. So we've got two test accounts here. And we will quickly also set the domain so the domains don't matter, but I will do that in for the purpose that it's the XAM tangent card basically. So we'll set the first domain here so just uh, just so we can see, quickly see it in the interface. So we've got the XAM tangent card here. And the next domain here is we've got here the uh, ledger.nano. Alright, so now that's our setup and what we will do is we will go to our Xam Tangent card so we will, you will have to log in with your Xam Tangent card and all of that but I know that you can do that, it's not that hard and then we will go to Signers so here in the Xam Tangent card you go to Signers and then you will set the regular key to the address of your Ledger Nano S so that's my Ledger Nano and you will set the regular key to the address of the Ledger Nano S and then you call update. Now after the transaction goes through, your Ledger Nano is also allowed to sign transactions for this account. And now let's say we've got the case, so now it's no, it's no, everything is set up, now you can use both of that, uh, both of the, these accounts here. For example, we want to send one XOP, uh, okay, oh, my bad. So we'll send one XOP from my one account to the other one. So that's not interesting here. So it works and also it's great. But now let's say now it's, it's the worst case scenario. You've lost your tantrum card or it's gone or whatever. You destroyed it accidentally. Then I will just, here we'll just say with a master key, which is basically the same thing here, like losing your tantrum card. Because yeah, okay, now it's not coo cool because now if you want to try to sign a transaction, it won't work anymore. So. Like I said, it will try that. Oh no, it doesn't work. Unable to sign. So that's just like the case. If you would lose the tantrum card, you're not able to sign anymore. So you, you, it's nice. You can still see your account, obviously, but you can't do anything, and that is not good. Like I said. So now, luckily, you set your regular key, meaning that this account is allowed to sign for that account here, and we can quickly do that uh, by basically uh, going to the. We still know the account address. I will go to that part here. We'll call add account, and we'll just go to address and enter that address here. Now we added that account to our list here, 
And now we can just navigate to the other account we just added here. And now we can now we can also make a transaction call. But first, I will copy the other address. So the other one of my Ledger Nano. For example, because I want to save all my funds. So that's my Ledger Nano. So I will copy the address of my Ledger Nano. I will go to the other account. And now we'll tr have to save it. So we'll take send it to this address. And it was in all my XRP. Because I want to save them now. Because now we will never be able to access the account again. So uh, 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 only with my Ledger Nano S account. And now I'm still able to sign the transaction here. And I'm able to save my funds. Even though my, like I said, my time was destroyed. And now we also now I saved all my funds, and now would also obviously uh, delete my account. For, uh, so we would go to the uh, settings here, and I will go to um, what was it properties? Ah, uh, yes, delete account. I would delete my account. Uh, but yeah, so in this case my account is not old enough. I would wait, have to wait like another 360 seconds here, but I won't do that, uh, or, or even 480 seconds, something like that. Uh, as you can see, my account is not old enough yet. Uh, then I could also delete it. But that's how you can basically do your setup, so you never lose access to your some tangent account uh, to some tangent card. So then you, you they, then it's okay if you only have one tangent card. You can also use it. You can like I said sign by holding it against the phone using the NFC functionality. But in case you might lose it or it gets destroyed, you're still able to retrieve your funds the way I just explained here. But in order to do it, like I said, you have to set a regular key beforehand, and the regular key should point to an account which is just as secure as your legend and uh, as your tangent card which is a hardware wallet so it should point to another hardware wallet all right so that's basically it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one